welcome back to another in the kitchen with mama z video it is i am i don't know if you can tell from behind me but it is christmas time i know it's been a minute since i did a video but this is something i've been doing a lot of lately and people have been getting requests for me to make some for them so i decided you know what i am going to show you guys how i make these boxes or i forgot what i, I forgot what i said we're, doing, we're making charcuterie boxes so i've already made one here i'll open it up for you this is the final product this little box is the smallest i've done for these before um compared to what i've done before but these are made for about like two to three people and i'm gonna make a bunch of these today um, i have everything that i put in the box laid out in front of me so if you don't um you know know what charcuterie is it's the meat here it's the salami, the peppered salami, prosciutto, dry copa, that's what's in my little little charcuterie pack I got from Costco. Most of this I actually did get from Costco and Target. Um, usually charcuterie boxes have cheese, so I have cheddar and brie that I've cut up. These were in blocks from Costco and I just cut them up. Um, I have some nuts here. I've packaged them up, packaged them up nicely so they're not like moving around the box. And then I have some crackers, fruit, and then because it's the holidays, I picked up this pack over from Target. It is a like pretzel, chocolate covered pretzel, um, you know, festive candy mix that I like to add in just to give the box some sweets as well. Um, so let's go on ahead and start making our boxes. So let's get started. Uh, this box here is what I'm using. I got it on Amazon. As you can see, it is a holiday themed box, but you can also purchase just plain or whatever event you're using, maybe birthday boxes. I got these on Amazon, so we can put a link down below to these holiday boxes and to some plain boxes. But this one here, like I said, could feed about two to three people. It's about eight to maybe like five and a half inches um, sized box. First thing you need to do is cut up some parchment paper to fill it to put on the bottom. So that's what I've already done here. And then we're gonna go ahead and start filling our box. I like to start with the really big things. So I have the block of cheese. We've got some of our nuts here. These are um, from Costco as well. And then the grapes people usually really like. So I'm gonna put a nice bundle grapes just to the side here there's really no method other than where do you think it'll look nice in the box and I like to fill it up like I said with the big things first after I've done that I put in some crackers I like to put in this and then fold up the salami Just folding them in half, like so, and then just wedging them right next to the cheese. I like to keep the different meats next to each other um, because it is a charcuterie box, right? This is our charcuterie. So I like to keep them next to each other so you could see the plethora of meat going in. Like so. And you can fill it up with some strawberries. And then what else? Oh, here. More. I like to keep everything I'm using also out in front of me so that I don't forget anything. More crackers. I'm actually gonna move this, see? So, you really don't have an exact method. Just move things to where you think they're gonna look nice. And then now I'm gonna add, because I realized I didn't add the cheese yet, the other cheese, the cheddar. So I'm just gonna go like that. Add some more fruit. And then I'm gonna fill it in with meat. So, things like 
this copa here. It's really thin, so I like to actually keep it together. And then you see when they're together, they have this like perforation. Kind of just fold it out so that the perforation is still showing, but they're all together still. And then I'm just gonna actually move this. Fill it up with some festive chocolates. Let's add another star, like so. And then take some of the colored candies. Drop in the colored candies. And then what I didn't mention earlier is this. Got some time to put on the side. Like that. And, you know, just flip some of the stuff around to make it, there you go, make it nice and pretty. And the last thing, because this is for Christmas, I'm just going to add in a nice little giant rod, little, a nice giant rod um, of chocolate covered, white chocolate covered pretzel rod with peppermint. Alrighty guys, and there you have it. This is your final product. As you can see, I just fill it all up real quick ta-da open it up and there you go all right so all of this could also be put in a really big box um, that probably feeds about eight to ten people like as many of the items as I'm using here so instead of using a small box you can get one big box and fill up like that but I'm doing small boxes today because um, you know they're easier for gifts or if you're doing like a socially distanced picnic um, or you know just little thank yous for people for the holidays I feel like this is a really fun gift to give people and it's perfect size if you're like one person to eat all of it for lunch you know just a little it's like adult lunchables um, so I hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more from us or more from me please you know, give us a thumbs up a like subscribe all the things and if you want to see more of what I do every day or, you know, just over daily lives, we do family vlog and we do post a lot on Instagram. So we'll leave our handles down below and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye.